What's going on boys and girls, welcome to a new exciting phenomenal creations video effect tutorial, my name is VK, hope you guys all are doing well as you always do. So today we have a really, really simple and a quick tutorial since sometimes you need those quick, not so long, simple and easy tutorials and this is that day definitely so but hey before we jump into the topic of the day if you are new here or you enjoy this series of tutorials if you like to learn inside after effects and occasional infusion 9 please consider subscribing to this channel and also hitting that notification bell and then you will never miss out on a new video that drops on the channel you will be one of the first that's awesome all right, let's jump in to what we're gonna do today. So today we have a real simple thing. We have something I guarantee you have seen sometimes in your life, and it's that scribble music video uh, effect, or it's called an effect. Someone calls it an effect. Someone calls it maybe a motion graphic. I can be a rebel and call it an a stylistic overlay. It really doesn't matter what you call it, but you know this uh, handwritten or hand-drawn scribble effect that's happening, which is used for outlining, and when you're taking steps, uh, it gives these cool effects. People throw imaginary footballs in the air, using in a bunch of music videos. So we're gonna go recreate this. It's super duper easy, and you will probably hear me talk more than actually doing it. I'm trying to not do that here. So. There's two methods you can do this, and one I'm gonna show you, and then I'm gonna show you a little cool bonus at the end. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. I have a tutorial composition already created, having the footage, this footage happening over here. So how this is gonna work is this is have to apply to a video footage because it's not an effect you just go ahead and do, and uh, that gives some problems because if you want to use this as an overlay, it doesn't work. But I have a cool way to compensate for that just um, at the end of the video but you have to stick around to the end of the video if you want to learn how to use your scribble effects as overlays so i'm going to show that in the end so let's go ahead and start doing something so the first thing or the first uh, method you can do is that scribble effect which is i can show you right here i have the end of this comp i have the scribble style if I go here and play it, you can see this scribbling effect happening if you're doing, for, uh, for example, an image uh, or something like this if you want to track a head or something. But then also we have the other style which you can use this for, um, let's put it like this, and that is when you're taking steps, you're moving, you're doing these reaction things and animating lines. Okay, so let's go start showing you how to do this. So first thing you do is you double click on your footage to open it up in the layer panel. Then you go ahead and click on this brush tool in the upper hand left corner to apply your brush um, tool here. And this is our, our thing how we're going to do this. So it's the basic thing you, you click and drag to make some lines. Let's undo that. You can hold down the control key or command key and click and drag to left and right up and down to make a bigger brush. Then at the right side, we can make that smaller. We can go to the right side, and here we have the paint panel. And this paint panel, you can change the opacity, the flow, the mode, and uh, the color, and the, the hardness, or the brushes. You can change the angle, the hardness, the roundness, the spacing, the softness, all those cool and cool things. And But the, the really cool is that you can also do this uh, after you have animated, you can do this after. And then you can have also a uh, pen pressure if you're using a digital tablet. That's really cool if you want to use something like that. All right, so how are we going to do this? Uh, everything, what uh, the styles differ or how you create different kind of results is basing on this duration uh, panel here or option. The first thing we have is constant, which is probably the one that you have it on. So when, when I, if I do a constant and I do draw around this face here and make like this. So probably you can guess constant means that every frame afterwards it will keep that position and that framing. So that's basically what that does. All right. So then we have, uh, but the other thing we want to do is the the single frame and that is the thing that most people are going to use and I want to tell you a word of warning this is tedious this is really tedious because this really 
takes time. If you have ever done rotoscoping by hand, you know exactly how this is going to feel. If you're drawing lightsabers, you're going to know exactly how this feels because you have to draw every single frame. And if you want to do that scribble effect, let's uh, make this brush smaller. Let's make it white. Oh, like this. And I want to draw around the hat like this in the original example. I draw it like this. So how you get that scribble effect is once you have done this, you go one frame forward. You can use the page up and page down and then you do it again. And again, and this is how it's going to look. It's going to take some time. I can give you that. But the thing is, what makes this so cool is that every time you do this, every time your hand is not perfect, so it will make a different result for every frame. And if I play back, it will add that scribble effect. So that is how, how does that work. And then if you want to make two, uh, two seconds, that's about 60 frames. So have fun. <laughs> Yeah, but the, it's it's a real tedious project. It takes time. If you do it really good, it will look really good at the end. Okay, so the next thing we can do is showing you maybe this uh, the outlining or the reaction style. Uh, this is a little bit more fun to do if you don't want to draw around a head for 200 frames. This is a little bit more exciting to do. So how this works is if I want an outline that is animated around the body, like... It goes like around like a, this little worm line, which is animated fastly around the body. Then it works like this. For example, you, you draw a little line at the hat, go one frame forward, and then you continue on that line like this. If you wonder how I do this is if you hold the space bar and click and drag, then you can move around the canvas. And now when you do that around the body, you can go, you can now see it, it does this outline in happening. So that's basically how you do this. And then you can just keep on doing it in different kind of ways. Uh, for example, I have here an example where we, you use it to outline something like this Taya over, over here of this really glad businessman. So it's a tedious project. It takes a lot of frames. You can count the frames if you want to. It's way too many to count. It takes time, but it looks pretty cool because this is the, that effect or that look you're, you're looking for. But let's say you don't have time. You want to do something similar, but you don't have time. So then I can show you another example, which is, um, let's go back to the composition, um, is these arrows. It's also kind of that scribble effect. It's a lot faster to do because you can control the animations for yourself. And how this is done is we go and double click, we chain, we have our brush, but then let's go to the duration and click on right on. So how this works is when you take your, uh, your tool here and you make, for example, this random shape, but the moment you let go of your mouse, it will disappear. Why? Because if you hit U on your keyboard, you can see that at that frame, it will create an animation for the thing you have just drawn. So that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. So uh, that's exactly how I made, made those uh, arrows. So let's go ahead and delete that brush tool. We can go ahead and make this composition just a tiny touch like 25 seconds so when you when we put those effects the animation we don't have a keyframe which is 10 miles outside your your monitor because that's no fun all right so how we do this is let's go to this frame let's make that arrow something like this so what I do is I will go ahead and draw an arrow like this and then you can see it happens over here and now it's pretty long. I don't want it to be that long. I can hit you on our keyboard to um, control these as keyframes. I can take this a lot closer. I can go ahead and easy ease them, go to the easy easing panel and then making it faster. Okay, maybe not that fast. 
cool. And then if you want to know um, how I fill that with color, I can show you how to do that when you're doing a design, the same thing here. All right, I want to fill this up with color. How do I do this? And if I go to the first frame, I have no idea where that arrow is and how I'm going to fill that with color without going over the white lines. It's super simple. You just go to end of the frame so you can see this. You have it selected. Then you start making a filament here. Like you like, like this. It will disappear. You can see here is the animation. What you just do, you can go ahead and move this to the same length. Extend it. Hit U on your keyboard and put it at the same frame here. And then you just easies them and give it some little animation expression. So when you play it back, you have that right on effect. So that's pretty cool. It's a lot more time saving. And yeah, if you don't have time, if you don't want to scribble, then you can do this. But then again, uh, this is more limited. You can you can't do what you can do basically this head tracking stuff. But this is a way to do a little bit more quicker. Now, that was the effect. Now I'm going to show you if if you want to extract this. If I just want this a flying outline of this tie, how do I do this? Because this is bonded to a video clip. Because this doesn't work with an adjustments layer. You can't just create an adjustment layer and start uh, like drawing. It doesn't work like that way. Uh, it's... It's BS, but it doesn't work. So how do I extract this? And I want to use it for something else. It's actually super simple. You drop it down, you go to effects and you will find the paint effect. It's actually an effect here, like just like an effect from the effects and presets. You can find it as an effect underneath that layer. And then you can see this option paint on transparent. And guess what? When you put it on on, damn, we have it extracted and how I can I can prove this to you. So when I hit this transparency button, you can see a subtle amount. You can see this um, tie flying around here. So now we have extracted it and then you can use it however you want. For example, we can go ahead and create a solid like this red palette solid. Let's go ahead and move this down. You can take the, tec uh, the text tool and type in MoGraph for motion graphics if you didn't get that and let's move it like this and now when you play back you have extracted a tie and made it a part of your motion graphics element so that's just an example that's how you can extract uh, that thing if you want to control it put some other effects on it then you can this is a good way because if you just want this overlaid and separated from the, the original clip, you can just duplicate the clip and then take that background layer, go to that effect and delete that paint effect. And now you have those exact two, but this is extracted. So now you can go ahead and let's go ahead and take this away. And what you can do is you go to this layer and go for example glow and add a glow effect change the radius and now you have you can duplicate a couple times to make it bigger and now you have a glowing tie this actually looks pretty good now I create a neon tie so that is how this works it's really cool and there's a lot of options when you extract it and put some other effects on it because now I created a glowing, glowing tie. So that's pretty cool. All right. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope it didn't take too much of your time. Hope you guys did enjoy this. You learned something out of it. And yeah, pretty cool. All right. So you know what to do. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please like this video comment your suggestions uh, in the in the description down below because I create the tutorials based on your suggestions then subscribe to the channel uh, to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one until that next one VK over and out